Hi guys, it's Hero here, and today we're going to be talking about the MSI Claw A8. Since my last video, you know I've upgraded the storage to 4 terabytes, and I've now installed Bazaar onto this, and you can see it loading up right now. So we're just going to explore what I've been up to, what I've installed, some of the good features, and why I think this device is underrated and not talked about enough. So straight away, we're back straight into the SteamOS Bazai like experience and you can see if you've used the Steam Deck before this is a very similar experience yeah all my games loaded up and quite a peculiar one you can see a, a window shortcut so we'll explore that later but for now let's just explore this user, user interface and understand why it makes it so special so um, all the things are working in terms of buttons, but let, let's just try some of that. So if you just do a one button press on quick settings. So this is like a Steam Dayak uh, user interface. So you recognize this stuff. So you have notifications, friends, the, the brightness audio settings. There's an overlay and this is quite cool because you can just turn this on and straight away you start seeing statistics in terms of monitoring. Let's turn that off for now. There is some TDP controls and FPS controls, but we'll ignore that for now. What I do like is the Decky Wizard, yeah? And if you haven't used that before, it's wonderful, and that probably deserves a full feature-length video on itself, but we'll probably dive into a couple of the tools today. Uh, the one that I really like, um, and, and you're probably wondering why my screen is so... Vibrant is because of this, so you, you'll see the games look a bit more OLED like, even though this is just a normal LCD screen. And uh, the other one you'll see is the Deki Frame Gen uh, coming into play when we talk about OptiScaler and what that means for the Z2E chipset. So, anyway, um, let's ignore this for now. So, if we double click on the quick setting buttons, we open the handheld daemon menu. Let's expand this out. And handheld daemon is really useful because it gives you similar features to the standard MSI center quick settings. So you have your TDB controls, you can see your boost, you can even do your custom uh, fan curve, which I haven't explored yet at the moment, but you can do. Uh, it gives you a bit more useful information, uh, useful stuff rather than the standard MSI. So you can actually put a, a charge limit on this, which the standard doesn't do. Uh, if we go back up and we go back down to the options, so look, you can control your RGB lighting, controller. Useful tip here is make sure you enable this toggle here and that makes sure your M1 and M2 toggles are working. Uh, there is a shortcut to reboot Windows here, but as you can see, I've got it in the Steam overlay using a command. I can share that in the descriptions later on. And something else useful is the shortcuts. Now the shortcuts are quite useful because you can change them to what you want and depending on what they are you can actually access them from the screen menu. So if I just exit out and you'll see this in action. So if I just toggle there, if I do the one over there, same again. And that's quite cool that is, yeah. Now let's try a couple of games. So I've got a uh, enabled. So if we go into there, and one of the quick or good features about Steam OS is that actually downloads the shaders for you up front. So while we're loading this game, um, I could talk about um, what my plans for the future is. So with this build, as you know, I put four terabytes in here, but I've actually split the storage out into one terabyte for Bazai, one terabyte for Windows 11, and two terabytes as a shared drive. So that means that any games I install in Windows or Heroic uh, Launcher, they actually get shared between both games. Now it is doing a shader complication and I'll explain that why, and you'll see it quite quickly. This is because I've enabled a mod, which allows, uh, once this is loaded, you see this, which allows me to actually enable FSR 4. Now you're probably saying, how the hell am I doing that? So it's a long story short, and you can uh, look up some other videos around this, but there was a leak from AMD and um, some users, uh, uh, communities have taken that leak and they've managed to make uh, 
devices that aren't able to run FSR4, now run FSR4. So we'll explore what that actually means for this device. And it is quite cool. Yeah, the image quality goes drastically good. So if, let's go into game now, continue journey. I'll load up. Now, obviously you can do this in Windows as well, but it's a bit more involved with the Decky Wizard and with the mod, uh, I think I, I talked about, and let's go into the mod again. What was this mod called? Is Decky Frame Gen. So we'll just click on that. You can, uh, uh, this is a whole video in itself, yeah. You can put the command in into the Steam game and it, and it just works. Uh, let's exit that and let the game load. And here we go. Shouldn't be that long. There you go. So let's just stabilize this and I'll have a run up here. And what might be useful is if I just enable the performance overlay so you can see a bit what's of what's happening here. So at the moment we're getting around quite a good stable 50 to 60 FPS. Don't know what settings we're using. Let's have a look at what settings. So display 1200p. Yeah, that's good. Graphics. So it says DLSS, but that's only there because I've enabled the, the mod. And I think it's a super resolution of 60, which is balanced and graphic preset low. So respectable scores. Let's go out. And I've enabled the toggle, so uh, let's just move around. There you go. Uh, if I toggle there, okay. You see up to scale is loaded. And I can see on here that it's using actually. Even though it says DLSS, it's actually using FSR3. Now, before we change that, let's just have a look at the quality of the our monkey guard here, yeah? Just gonna see, zoom in, and that's actually quite good quality for DSLS3. Sorry, I mean FSR3. And a decent FPS score as well. Now, let's see what happens when we change this. So I'm going to change this to FSR4, change upscaler, and just close this down, yeah? Put this down, so, okay, so the FPS has definitely dropped, so it's hovering around 49, 50, but look at the detail on this, yeah, I can't, I don't know if you can tell on your screen, but yeah, even from this distance, the armor looks really detailed the hair I can see and on this display it looks really good let's just move around a bit yeah just feels good yeah okay uh, uh, like I said OptiScaler and how to use OptiScaler and FSR3 to FSR4 that's a separate video let's just exit out of this for now oh. so while we close this down let's go back up that was quite interesting. What else do I want to show you? Um, quick look at emulation, because I think what hasn't been talked about is how good the MSI Claw 8 or A8 is in terms of plug and play emulation. Now, I've managed to get emulators working on the MSI Claw 8 AI, uh, but it is a lot of work, yeah? Sometimes you have to look for the settings, sometimes you have to modify the files but it's not as plug as play so look um, let's just try something so I've got some ROMs for the PS3 of games which I obviously own and let's go into one of my favorite games and obviously Metal Gear Solid's uh, Kojima's games quite high I think I was just playing this before so let's load this up and there you go bam so no mods really to effort integrate straight away 60 fps so let's just load up and see what it looks like in terms of playability so i think i made a save file right at the start Let's just load that in so we miss some of the s cinematics and go in. Uh, 
And bam. Look at that. We just run around. Whee. That is good. Okay. So very well there. Uh, let's just okay. Let's do something. Oh, let's close this down. Let's go out of here, and now let's go into Windows. So literally shortcut from here, and magically, I'm hoping this works well. Bam. Now I'm going to edit out <laughs> what my pin is. So here we are in Windows. And a couple of things. So let me just show you this PC. So um, it's important. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, I have one, nearly one, just under one gig for Windows, one gig for Bazai, and just under two gigs for the shared storage. And that's where all of my Steam emulators, ROMs, and I think the Hero Launcher game, so that includes GOG, so Cyberpunk, which uh, is stored in there as well, yeah. And what we can do, and just to test this out, so you saw me playing Wukong, there you go, Wukong's loaded up here, you can see it's already ready to play, and just so you believe me, properties, and we should be able to see in the shared D drive. I think the MSI Claw is a fabulous device. I think it's underrated, and it might be just that it's not available in many markets yet, but it's definitely not talked about enough. And it's probably one of the best Z2E implementations in terms of a handheld device. The eight inch screen, the portability, and also the power you know, a unit. Anyway, if you find these videos useful, please do hit like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.